I am back doing another video, and today we're going to be reviewing the Lego Batman movie, The Scarecrow, Fearful Face-Off. That's the front of the packaging, the, the energy thing, Batman, and Scarecrow, and they can't connect to the other one, sadly, so, yeah. Warning Lego, choking hazard. You know, try, toys contain small parts and a small ball. Not for children under three years. Building toy. Under 41 pieces. Scarecrow Fears, full face-off. Ages 6 to 12. I am pretty much the advertiser. Batman's face. Lego, Batman movie. Lego. Lego. Batman movie. Okay. And then a helicopter. Oh, and we already have the set built. What is that? Oh, it's magic, guys. Okay, so let's get into the set. First, we have the energy thing. I wonder if this bar goes up there. Does it go up here? I'm going to leave it back there for right now. I might have made a snake, but whatever. Uh, so here's the little computer that controls everything. It's got a little uh, meter of how much energy is going to Gotham. And two buttons right there, red and blue, green. And then this is part of the play feature, which I'll show you in a minute. And then here's some gray pieces here, and this is a little piece that went in there to make the play feature happen. There's at the end of it there. There's a little gray piece there, it's a green, which is nice. And just barely plain at the back. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, let's look at the top of it. Uh, here's a light gray part with a little handlebar, so that's about it. Uh, kind of plain this set is, but I mean, it just doesn't connect to the other parts of the energy plants. I have two of them. Not all of them. I don't have the pizza scarecrow one. That's the only one. But yeah, that's about it for that. The scarecrow helicopter is cool. It has the two stud shooters that shoot out these things, which are cool. It's got a little uh, thing that this spins, and then this is a little rudder or whatever. It's connected with the well, like a stat robin staff, and then puts into that little technique piece, and that's whatever. And then here's the top thing that just spins. Oh, let's push this down. Whatever. Um, and then here's the seat, where a scarecrow can easily sit down. They can hold on to the bars. But I am not making him sit down right now. So yeah. That is about it for the helicopter. I mean, I'll go over it a little bit more, but yeah. Uh, nice rooms right there. I like the brooms instead of like a regular helicopter piece. That was very creative, I think. And some little blasters at the bottom, a little cannon type thing. This was two builds, actually. It looks like one, but it was two. And then there's some little bars there to connect that. A little handlebar, a tan seat. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, some great pieces there. They're great builds for a smart set. Small set. A great many figures. Let's move on. Um, great pieces, too. So if you wanted to get some cool pieces, you get the set. Uh, here's Scarecrow. Um, I will show you a comparison of him and the 2016 version. And I don't know which one I really like better. I think I like the Lego Batman movie better. It's I like the face better. It's not as ripped in the front. And the, it's the pieces Scarecrow face. But I mean, but they're both very similar, actually. Look, see, it's got the scarf in there. And the Scarecrow. And a little, the ropes, just a little bit different. And then it's got the torn pants. And yeah, so. And the back. Same, kind of fairly similar. Patch there instead. Then some rips there, and some, you know, so that's that. I mean, yeah, they're similar, so take that out. Scarecrow, uh, great minifig, nice printing, as I just uh, saw. Nice uh, side printing, too, on the arms, nice patches. I like it. This is the same mold as the 2016 Scarecrow's headpiece, just different color, which is actually cool. I like that mold, so that's good. Um, maybe it would be cool if they did a different one, but that's okay. This could be used for different things. If you hear a dog, dog, dog barking, sorry. Um, then you have a yellow belt. This is their old Batman black and yellow printing. But then you got the uh, bat wings with a jetpack there. And then, you know, these are the things that the gun pieces went into the, these things. And there's a small piece we put on top to make it look cool. And the red. And that's his jetpack. And that's Batman. Plain black legs. Not much good printing, but you know. That's it for that. Um, that's about it for the set. Um, overall, a uh, great set. I really do like it. Um, great minifigs selection. I really like that too. Um, oh, nice fucking things on the wing there. Anyway, um, let's move on to something, uh, some, uh, uh, and I had a decision. If you only stay for the review of this, then get out of the video right now. Okay, so this is something, I'm not going to put in the title, but it's a, uh, bonus review of a uh, Animal Planet Mojo Fun White Lion figurine. 
and it's a beautiful figurine. Let's get it out of this little bag he's been stuck in. Sorry, buddy. I've been messing around with him a little bit, so. Ah, oh, start doing some things with one hand. One sec, guys. Um, here we go. It's a. Uh... All right, so here is the bag. Let's open this up. Zip-off bags, which is cool how that shifts in. Here is the figurine. Um, beautiful face mold. Um, looks really like a lion. Um, nice mane. The colors are great in that. Um, I love the texturing of his fur. That looks good. And then his tail is white at the tip, which is very good. Unlike the Popo version. And it's got the pink paws on the bottom, which is good. And the white belly. And then, yeah. That's about it. Uh, now to into some comparisons. Make sure you start right away. Um, first we have the, uh, Terra, uh, old version of the male lion. It's a beautiful male lion. Love it. It's a con I think it's like the Congo lion, but whatever. Whatever. And, uh, as you can see, he's much bigger. But, yeah, that's how that brand does it. It does anything to do things really bigger. And then here is the Apopo white line, which I just mentioned before. And he's a lot bigger, taller, but I mean, this one overall detail is much better. The white on the tail is more accurate than the pink paws, much better. And then this one is his black paws. So, I mean, it's accurate, but the brown tail, that's not supposed to be there. So. Yeah. And the eyes on this one are so much better. These ones kind of like. <laughs> anyway. Um, I mean, it's good, but you know, it gets creepy sometimes. Okay. So then, we have a two Schleck lion. These are the two male lions that they've released, as far as I know. And they need a young lion, but I don't have it. It's really hard to get. So the overall skill nice with these two lions. He's hunting, and that's why he's shorter. But yeah, this would be a good group setup. He's definitely good to scale with your Schleck. So if you want to get like a white lion, Schleck doesn't make one, not as far as I know. But if you want to get a white lion that will scale nicely with your Schlecks, this is the best way to go. Alright, that's about it for this video. If you guys like the video, drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, I just got all this stuff today and I'm really happy about it. So yeah. Again, subscribe, drop a like, and yeah. Remember, variety videos. Bye-bye!